Previously on Sherlock Holmes Crimes and Punishments. Watson, I do believe that we have created an exact replica of the train that vanished in front of us last night. So, such a thing is possible. If someone went to all the trouble of creating this fake train, then it was surely with the intention of stealing the real one. Ah, Watson, you should not jump to conclusions. In fact, this does not tell us very much at all, except that the train did not evaporate into thin air. Although you half suspected it. Ah, at any rate, we now need to find where the real train might be hidden. Train at Evesham was faked by somebody. The dismantled penny car with spare parts scattered around uh, was found at Chesterfield Station. The train never reached Evesham. It disappeared earlier and was faked by somebody using a hand car and spare train parts from Chesterfield Station. Now we have two maps. We must combine them properly. Here it is. There is a side branch <laughs> to the railway. So its first switch is located between Bridlington and Chesterfield stations. There is one more station to be visited. It is located between Chesterfield and Evesham, and there should be a side railway to the nearby quarry. There is a small section of a railway at the end of Evesham station. Okay. Go to all these places. We're here now. Let's go here. Let's go there and then work our way backwards. The switch is rusted, but it still works. Okay. Holmes, look. There's a flooded area over here. Hmm. I believe that the flooded area might be worth checking. This railway branch should lead to the quarry. Let us take a look. The rail is rusted and looks old, but the railway is still usable. The railway ends here. That is strange. The switch is rusted, but it still works. something. I guess let's see where the road goes. It goes into the mines. Mines? This is interesting. It would be quite possible for someone to redirect the train towards the mines. Go to the mines? Yeah. Here are the mines homes. They appear to be abandoned. I wonder what the driver thinks. <laughs> like driving them to these places. These like just look how suspicious this looks. I wouldn't trust my passengers if they told me to drive here. The distance between the tracks is about 
4 feet 8 inches. A lightly loaded vehicle came this way. There is a wooden beam lying on the rails. A small vehicle with wooden beams went down this way. This mine has completely collapsed, Holmes. It is curious, but to be truthful, I am not entirely surprised. It's difficult to follow you, Holmes. Someone removed these screws, most probably to take down the rails. A few feet of the rails have been dismantled. This is an unusual kind of paper, stiff and dry. It was used for a specific purpose. Let us look inside. Sawdust. I am almost certain it is a... Watson, could you assist, please? Do you have your pistol? Good. Fire at this package. Oh, okay. <gasps> Oh, where am I? Oh. Uh. Dynamite. The mines were collapsed to hide the train. Dynamite was used after the train was moved inside. The mines were collapsed with dynamite. Someone wanted to close them intentionally. Probably this one. Someone moved it inside. Because there are rails there. Someone moved it inside. Um, made the mine collapse. And then took away the rails. To make it seem like the train couldn't go in there. This box must be the safe. Let's open it. The Mexican company Caracal and the Chilean Barcazas both want to buy the mines. I need more information. Perhaps Mycroft could help. Your brother? We inform you that representatives of the Barcazas, our group, are granted free access from now on. This company is the future owner of the mines. Also, starting today, a no trespassing rule is upheld against any representative of the Car Caracol Consortium. The preliminary contract of sale has been cancelled. Do not provide any explanation. This information is confidential. Hmm. 
this suitcase. Why oh, is access it from here? Uh, let's go here. There was a building here not so long ago. But I don't understand, Holmes. Why would anyone destroy the shed in such a manner? It was disassembled in great haste. It is most odd. Traces. Let's take a closer look. The distance between the tracks is about six feet seven inches. The vehicle would have been heavy, as these tracks are quite deep. These traces are relatively fresh and were made by a large truck loaded with materials. Hmm. This road should lead to the town of Evesham. This part is probably from a locomotive. This part is probably an old locomotive bell. This place serves as a storage area for the station. I asked Mycroft to find out some information on the WEA Coal Company. Here is his reply. And it is an interesting one. There are two companies, the Chilean Burquesas and the Mexican Cargal. Both wanted to purchase the WEA coal mines. Mexican Cargal, Caracol? Oh, I'm butchering it, most likely, definitely. Consortium had established an initial deal and had prepared all the papers. However, the Chilean Burquesas group Aided by, aided by their influential connections, managed to snatch the concluding deal for the mines. Hmm. Mexicans held no grudge against Chileans. Business is business after all. I don't want, I don't want this. Here we go. How about? It appears that there was a small warehouse near your station, and that it was disassembled. Why is that? It was burgled overnight about two weeks ago. The police have already started their investigation, but I doubt that they'll find anything. What was inside the warehouse? Nothing of value. A few hundred feet of standby rails and some spare railway parts. But it wouldn't be easy to steal all of that. Why would anyone want to? 
See you later, my good man. Hmm. Stolen rail rack. Rail track. Oh man, nothing is pieced together yet. Somebody stole the rails to temporarily cover the missing section of the railway into the mines. Oh, there we go. There's something here. The train is sealed underneath the collapsed mines. Yep, that's what I think too. Older version of this guy from the last case. He looks anxious. And he is not an Englishman. Hmm. This scent is familiar to me. But in order to recognize it, I must combine my associations into one picture. A greenish-brown cigar with a strong aroma, a hint of peppermint. Ricardo. You already know the name of this man? Holmes, you amaze me. No, Watson, I refer to the cigar. <laughs> it is a Ricardo Turrent, a Mexican cigar of an excellent quality. Quite an expensive one, too. Maybe he's part of the Caracal people. This ashtray is full of ash and cigar stubs. Apparently, there was a conflict between the Mexicans and the Chileans. A greenish-brown cigar with a strong aroma, a hint of peppermint. These ashes and cigar stubs are similar to the one that we found on the floor. Some of the stubs were recently smoked. There are others that appear fairly old. That means that the fellow spent several days here. Judging by his clothes, he's hardly a traveler or a tramp. Well concluded, my dear fellow. A man who smoked the Ricardo brand of Mexican cigar spent several long days at Doncaster Station. Newspaper articles on horse racing, hurdles, steeplechase, and flat racing. He is a true enthusiast, Holmes. Betting slips for horse racing. The sums are quite impressive. It can be an expensive vice. This man had probably used all his savings. Let's talk to him. Good day to you, sir. My name is Sherlock Holmes, and this is Dr. John Watson. We are investigating the case of the vanished train. Is that so? Well... Good day, gentlemen. I am Mr. Duff, the station master of this station. I'll be happy to help you in any way I can, but there's not much that I can tell you about last night. He 
He most likely knows about the guy that's been staying here a while. He was married. It appears that you may be at risk of some flooding along the line here. You mean that the whole bloody lake is at our feet? Quite so. But it is strange, because according to my map, there should be a quarry here, and behind that, the lake. How should I know? I only arrived here a few months ago. And where did you work before that? Well, I was working in Nottingham. Well, I asked for a quieter place, so they transferred me here. Life is cheaper. I can't really complain. Did any passengers leave or board the train last night? No. I saw no one as usual. I reported the train's passage by telegraph. Just the same as all the other nights. I observe that you are a gambling man, Mr. Duff. You had hoped that your relocation to this small town might have helped ease your addiction, but it was not to be. I beg your pardon? Addiction to what? We found a number of horse racing tickets inside your office. Well, well, we all have our weaknesses. An expensive obsession, surely, for a station master. It is none of your business. I occasionally attend the races with my colleagues. And anyway, that's my private life. There was a gentleman of Mexican origin, I believe, in the waiting room. Did you notice him? What? A Mexican? Here in the back of beyond? Are you quite sure about that? You were here Goodbye, for sir. a while already. It is obvious that we cannot inspect the quarry. Instead, we can check the beach area around the flooded lake. Somebody stole the rails to temporarily cover the missing section of the old railway to the flooded quarry. Somebody stole the rails to temporarily cover the missing section of the railway into the mines. I think the mines. Railway post bags. This post bag belongs to the station master. In reply to your last warning letter, I wish to assure you that I shall soon honor all the latest installments that I need to pay according to my debts. <sighs> He's definitely working with the Mexican caracals. The station master appears to have found himself in some financial trouble. My darling, I asked you to trust me this time. Oh wait, no. My darling, I asked you to trust me this time. I shall soon have more than enough money to repay the house mortgage. It's only a matter of days. You may continue living in the house without me since that is your wish. Please know that I still care about you and hope that you will forgive me one day despite all the harm I've caused in recent years. Yours, Edward. He's definitely working with that Mexican guy. The station master at Doncaster received money recently. He assured his lawyer and his ex-wife that he would be sending them money and bought horse racing tickets despite the fact that he can ill afford them.
The train could have been sunk in the flooded quarry at Doncaster Station. The train cannot be sunk in the flooded quarry because the old railway that leads there is missing some rails. Maybe the Mexican was working with D Edward Duff to try to bring the train into the quarry, but then that didn't work because the Chilean Burkezes bought the mines and transported the train there before they can do anything. This ashtray is full of ash and cigar stubs. Watson, it seems that both South American companies were involved in the purchase of the mine. The man at Doncaster who fled our approach, he smokes Mexican cigars. Perhaps... Where is he? Yes, Watson. We should certainly speak with him. Oh, oh my god, he's right there. Wait, oh, he appeared out of nowhere. What the freak? Creeper. Please, sir, we would ask you not to leave. We have some questions. Are you the police? No, we are employed by the railway company. We are collecting witness statements about the train that disappeared last night. Lo siento, I'm in a hurry. Really? It seemed that you were waiting here for someone. Could you tell us if you were at the station last night? No, I just arrived from South America. A formidable journey, no doubt. Which country are you from? The Chile. Yeah. Chile? But you are Mexican. No, you are wrong. Why would you think I'm Mexican? Your cigar. Because of your cigars. See, si, cigarillos. So what? Those cigars are the Ricardo brand, from Mexico. It is quite impossible to find them anywhere but there. Pero not your business. I don't suppose that you are on vacation. What business brought you here? I was to meet my fellow compañeros. Where did you arrive yesterday? They were on that dumb train. I will stay here and hope that the authorities find them. Or their bodies. It's now my responsibility to repatriate them. Who authorized you to do that? The company I work for. Could you tell me the name of the company? It's not your concern. And what is your name? Enough questions. When I start this. Not a very friendly man, and he is lying. He said that he just arrived, but we know that he has been here for several days. Yeah. Mexicans held no grudge. The Mexican Caracal Company held a grudge against the Chilean Barquesas group as the Chileans were favored for purchasing the WEA coal mine suspect the Mexicans' preliminary sales contract. Yeah. There's a note that says they're angry. The 
Mexicans organized the Chileans to stay on a train. That is why the controller removed all of the passengers except for the Chileans. Oops, oops, wrong one. Okay. Where's that note gone? This one. A burned note that was found in the ashtray at Doncaster waiting hall. It still has a few legible sentences that highlight a conflict between the Mexicans and the Chileans. Those Chileans think they the future company right under our oh you know what maybe the Mexicans was trying to keep the Chileans in the train and get them into the mine col collapse the mine trap them in there and the prototype just happened to be in the train probably Jeez. here we are at the beach that is located near the quarry and Doncaster station. It doesn't look like a very good place to rest. These traces were made by a carriage. Look. The distance between the tracks is about six feet, seven inches. The vehicle would have been heavy, as these tracks are quite deep. The vehicle pressed this stone into the ground. It would have been quite heavy. These traces are relatively fresh and were made by a large truck loaded with materials. The traces found at the disassembled shed near Evesham and at the lake were from the same vehicle. an advertisement for lake cruises. An abandoned gypsy caravan. This place was abandoned fairly recently. Observing the coastline and the moored boats, we are able to see that the lake's water level dropped. The lake has flooded the quarry. The dam was probably breached. label with the name Las Zarpas. through Doncaster Station, the station master reported it. The train never passed through Doncaster Station. The station master lied and sent a false report. Perhaps he was bribed with the money he desperately needed. That's what I think. It was a carefully planned murder. The Mexicans killed the Chileans and 
steal the train underneath the collapsed mines to hide their crime. Blind justice, the Mexicans' inhumanity towards the Chileans has cost many lives. We must act quickly. Contact Estrada and allow the police to perform the loud and swift justice, even at the risk of international conflict. Criminal organizations such as this cannot be confronted directly. It requires a delicate approach. Give Mycroft the chance to resolve the conflict, and even though it might be protracted and turned to his own advantage. There's still peace. Saying something. Oh. Mm. There we go. The Las Arpas barges are leaders in heavy goods transportation. The Las Arpas label belongs to the Mexican consortium Caracal, who covers shipping, electricity services, and mining. Oh, yep. Here it is. The Mexicans had recently utilized barges at the lake, probably to transport something very heavy. Yeah, I'm gonna do that, but I'm gonna... Should I do blind justice or political game? I'll do this. I don't care if it's international conflict, that's not my problem. Yes. Uh, uh no, it's starting me out when I do this. Then the case is solved, Holmes. What do you intend to do? Well, I shall require assistance for the arrests. There were accomplices. Ah, but I know that look. You have your own ideas. What are they, Holmes? On the one hand, we have Mycroft and his tedious political games. He will locate the guilty parties without any trouble. But it will be a long and drawn-out process and possibly with some compromise that will be to Mycroft's benefit. Our other option is the local constabulary, and advice from our friend Lestrade. The problem we have there is that the authorities seem to be incapable of acting quietly. They rely on brute force. It could result in an international scandal. All the same, I think that I prefer the forces methods. It would be better to resolve the case quickly and efficiently without any talk of politics. Let us go home, then. I'd like to begin writing a draft of this story. No, I did not say that we had finished here yet. Well, all right. What did I miss? Watson, we know that the Barcazas Company directors were trapped under the collapsed mines, along with the train and Robinson's prototype. But we still need to corner the guilty party. But how do you intend to prove... Oh, no. Please don't tell me we have to dig out the mines. You may rest assured that I have a far better idea. We have only to use our corrupt Doncaster Station Master as bait. He will unwittingly trap our Mexican friend. 
Of course, you already had a plan. I shall follow you, Holmes. Well, the case is solved, and we shall be heading home. And may we have two tickets to London, please? Right away, what? Wait, wait a minute. You've solved the case? In a manner of speaking, can you believe that the rescue service miraculously saved one of the Chileans who were on board the train? The police have ordered his immediate escort to London on the next train. He pulled through, then? He's alive? Yes, by extreme good fortune. His condition is quite serious, and the method of transportation has its risk, but he will be held securely by the doctor and police officers. The gentleman carries some vital information on this case. I am sure of it. Ah, really? Your station will be famous, Mr. Duff. The journalists will be here before you know it. Goodbye, sir. Good goodbye, gentlemen. Gentlemen, you are under arrest. Oh. Caramba! You traitor! You double-crossed me! Oi, oi, oi now. Why did I do that? I want to shoot his hand. No! Holmes, I... I had to do it. No. It is all right, Watson. He got what he deserved. Oh, my God! I thought I was a dead man. You shouldn't be so glad about it. You'll be up before the judge. Your testimony will be of great importance to the investigation. I would remind you that your cooperation will be the best way to ease your sentence. After I returned from Afghanistan, I vowed never to take another human life. I'm sorry. Watson, you did in fact save a life. You should focus on that. Now come, there is still much to do. <sighs> Check my conclusion. If it's red, what does that mean? What does that mean if it's red? Oh, I should have shot his hand. <sighs> Forty one percent of the people I think shot him in the head. So we will continue the next story, the next case, I think next Monday. And yeah, I didn't really like this case. It's very, like, I think because the whole environment is just very bleak and it's kind of boring. And a lot of times I was stuck and I didn't know what to do. Um, so it wasn't that fun to play. So hopefully the next one is more interesting. It's a bloodbath. That sounds like, that sounds kind of harmless. Excuse me, it sounds kind of promising. So, yeah, thanks for watching.